Welcome back in the pressure cooker atmosphere of the Weber Cup. The first point has gone to Team Europe. They've picked up where they left off last year. They were absolutely superb last year in Barnsley and they've looked very solid so far here at Event City in Manchester. One game down, plenty more to go, plenty of enjoyment for you to watch on Sky Sports this evening. And uh, we're ready for our next game. It's the European captain, Dom Barrett, up against the former US Open champion, Wes Malott. Let's hand over to your commentators, Cass Edwards and Wayne Boyce. Thanks, Tony. So here we go. The first singles, and now, Cass, the, the pressure really mounts on the individual shoulders of these players. Well, it certainly does, because the, the Baker game is out of the way, where they bowled a couple of frames each. This is a full 10 frames under the new scoring system, and it's Wes Mullock to start. And they'll be wanting to settle down, get into some frames and get some, uh, some good shots and carry all 10 pins. And as I was saying before the break, Wes Mullock's victory over Dom Barrett was... One of the eight points that the USA scored last year. And Don Barrett admitted it himself that he perhaps wasn't at full throttle during the Baker. And this is what kept happening to Wes Malott during the Baker. He just keeps leaving that tempin. Yeah, he's getting the ball to go really wide onto the, on the lane where it's picking up um, a drier part of the lane. Of course, the ball's reacting. It's snapping back into the pocket. But the angle it's coming back in is unfortunately kicking that six pin around the ten pin. So it can only be a spare, it's a nine spare, which is worth 19 points. But Wes Malott, not quite yet into that groove. His third Weber Cup appearance, remember he's been on the losing time on both his previous occasions. And now Don Barrett, ninth appearance. In the party poker Weber Cup, second time he's captain Europe. He's certainly the most experienced Weber Cup player here. Yeah, the second Englishman ever to win a PBA Tour in the United States. Stu Williams being the first. That's a great shot. And Don Barrett up and running with the full 30. Well, it is, yeah, the full 30 indeed. A great looking shot. Right in the one three pocket, high of the head pin, carries all ten. And it's 11 pin lead already. More pressure on Wes Malott and the USA. Yeah, Wes came back last year from a, a knee injury. And has recovered reasonably well. Again, and just came in a little high and he's... Well, um, unfortunately, split. when he's left... Left the 4 9 split. It was a little bit high, as you see. It will snaps back so quickly through the face, doesn't trip the 4, doesn't trip the 9, and that's a little split. So that can only be 8. And if it's an open frame, the score will go further backwards. If he spares it, it's 18. Oh, oh it's a great effort. Really unlucky from Wes Malott, but it is an open frame. And very much advantage Don Barrett and Europe again. Great yeah. effort, Cass. It really was indeed. That's how close Ooh. it was. Just so unfortunate. Slides in front of that nine pin. It was a, a really nine out of ten effort. Unfortunately, an open frame, and now Don Barrett will very much be in the driving seat. He'll be looking to double up, score another 30 pins, take a huge lead early on. Three-time European Bowling Tour rankings winner. Of course, won that. PBA World Champion 2013. His first PBA major and second PBA title. Yeah, won that against uh, Sean Rash on the PBA tour. And did a 2 3 8 against a 2 3 5. But he's struck here again, and that's another 30 pins. And his score goes to 60 in frame number two. Not going to start mentioning 300s just yet, but two in a row for Don Barrett. Great start. We've had a few famous 300s over the years here, haven't we? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's, um, Tommy Jones and Chris Barnes. Oh, help. Four between them. Great shot from Wes Malott. And he gets a strike on the board at last. Yeah, the big nasty will feel a bit better about that. That will give him 30 pins. Wants to get dialed in and relaxed in this game. 
won four and lost four of his eight games at the Weber Cup last year. Don Barrett lost two of his seven, winning five. Really did lead from the front as Europe's captain. He's very much on a hot streak at the moment. There's not very much he hasn't won, and 2016 so far has been very good for him. It's great results in a tournament. Oh, it's a lovely shot. That's three and strikes that, in a row. There's that turkey you were talking about, Cass. <laughs> well, it's 90 pins. <laughs> 30, 30, and 30. Trips the temp in right at the end there. Absolute classic. Sets up that chain reaction. Three strikes in a row. And Big Wes is certainly up against it now. Well, he talked about not being quite at it in the Baker. Don Barrett, he certainly is now. And Wes Malott knows it. Certainly needs all ten here and takes them. Great shot from Malott, two in a row from the American. And that's all he can keep doing while Barrett continues to bowl the way he is in this first singles match of the 2016 Party Poker Weber Cup. Gets the angle there, right? Coming up from the outside of the lane and rips the rack. Two strikes in a row, but uh, he's got some work to do. And will Don Barrett let him back in? And that is perfect through three. Recently won the San Marino Open earlier in July on the European Tour. Oh. It's four in a row. Well, if he wasn't in the groove during the Baker, he most certainly is now Europe's captain. Well, the difference is, of course, the, they bowl a lot quicker. They, they don't have to hang around quite so long before they get dialed in, and he really is dialed in. Four strikes in a row, and four thirties is 120 he scored in frame four. And all Malot can do is keep striking to stay on the coattails of Europe's captain, and he has. Three in a row for Malot now. But that open frame in frame two is looking mightily expensive for the American. Yeah, Wes just showing us what he can do, what we're used to seeing him doing. He does throw mighty, mighty 300 games in a time. But uh, as you say, Wayne, that big 4-9 split in the second frame is the difference between them. As a top draw bowler, Cass, when do you start thinking about 300? Frame nine? By the way, Dom's bowling probably now, but um, no, if you get to seven or eight and then it gets in the back of your mind, but he doesn't want a 300 necessarily, he just wants to win. Well, he's on his way because that is five in a row for Dom Barrett. And Europe looking really good potentially for a 2 0 lead here. Yeah, it's, as I say, it's not necessarily the 300 game he's looking for. He had one not so long ago. It's the win, it's the point on the ball for Team Europe. It's a team game. He's one of the four amigos, and he's leading by example. My lot. Well, he wasn't happy with it, but he still found the pocket. And you can see from his facial expression, Cass, he was disappointed and almost rather bemused to take all ten that time. I'm sure he happily accepted, though. Maybe something was slightly wrong. The ball slightly got out a bit, a bit too far, but it came roaring back as the uh, ball on the lane worked and the, and the friction kicked in. Great rotation on the ball there, came back, ripped the rack in the 1-3 pocket. So here's a man who's perfect through five. 150 after five frames. Oh no! And this could be a pivotal moment in this match. Oh dear, <laughs> dear oh dear. 4, 6, 7, 10, the big four split. An overreaction in the back end. The ball just flipped through the head pin and broke nothing up. Look at that. Now frustration for Don Barrett. And that's his first open fray. And a way back in for Wes Malott and the USA. And that just shows how quickly at this level, Cass, things can change. Well, from a bowling strikes with... 30 pins the ball, he's just bowled 6 and 2, which is 8. Okay. Where's trying to get back into this one? Oh, it rings that temper in the corner just when he really needed another strike to make five in a row. Again, 
only be a spare. Yeah, be frustrated again, won't he? That ten pin left up, a real chance to hammer home that open frame for Don Barrett. Nine spare is worth 19. Takes his score to 167 in the seventh frame. I'm sitting on 158, but it's an open frame. Well, Europe are the big favourites, but I can't help but feel throughout this Weber Cup, there will be chances for the USA to take advantage, such as that open frame from Don Barrett. And Cass, if the USA are to win this Weber Cup back, they need to take full advantage of situations like that, and Wes Mallott hasn't quite done it. Well, that's right, yes. When, if the door opens a little bit, you've got to push and go through it. But Don, Bar Don Barrett, the European captain, is back with another strike and another 30 pins. And another hammer blow for the, the USA. Another great shot from Don Barrett. Yeah, he maintains 21 pins lead for the European side with just three frames to go. Amazing, isn't it? No in-between from Don Barrett. It's... Six strikes, one open frame. As Malot left the second frame open. Come on, he says. And the ball and the lane responds. Wes Malot has not missed the pocket this game. He's had a couple of spares, one open frame, and all the rest have been strikes. Five of them, in fact. So he's bowling quite well. It's just a little bit unfortunate that uh, some pins didn't fall over earlier for him when he left that 4 9 split. This is Don Barrett's frame in hand then. 197, 188 is the score at the moment, but if he carries on on this strike trail, the European captain could well be doubling their overall score lead, and it is another one. Well, what a frustrating game this will be ultimately for Don Barrett, not if he gets the point, but the fact that it's been all strikes except for one open frame in the sixth. Slightly light in the pocket and the lazy seven pin goes at last, but he's not going to worry about that. A clench of the fist means another 30 points and uh, could well be another nail in the coffin of uh, Team USA and Wes Malone. Oh, a full start from uh, the big nasty. He was fortunate to stop and regroup. Maybe just some, a little bit of uh, dampness on his thumb, perhaps. And All adds to the pressure, Cass, doesn't it? Well, he's working on a strike. Not that there's a, a count back anymore on this uh, world bowl, uh, scoring system. Given the way Barrett's bowling, though, he's going to need to strike out here. <laughs> Lovely shot. Again, finds the 1-3 pocket. Sixth strike of this game for Wes Malott. As I say, he's not missed the pocket. It's been a really, really good game. Unfortunately, he's come up against uh, Don Barrett, who's um, rather hot. Well, that's the trouble again, isn't it? Psychologically, for a team that is on this losing run, he'll be thinking, well, I can't bowl much better than that. And yet, Don Barrett, at the moment, heading for another point. Just been a bit unlucky with a few 10 pins, hasn't he, Mallot? Such is the game of 10-pin bowling. Some of the shots in the pocket look perfect and you, you're left with a pin standing. Barrett for a strike. And gets it. It's unbelievable from Don Barrett. 248. 21-point lead for Europe's captain. And he hasn't been affected at all by that open frame in the sixth. Perfect response from a player that's so experienced these days, 31 years of age now, Don Barrett. And one of the hottest properties on the bowling world. Currently second in the European Bowling Tour rankings, 11 points behind Richard Teese. It's a great shot from Malot. It's a strike uh, in the 10th, there's no bonus balls, it counts just 30 pins. And Wes finishes with a 2.57. Unfortunately for him, Dom is sitting on 248. Yeah, it's so amazing, isn't it? 
just 205 points was enough to defeat Don Barrett in last year's Weber Cup. At this time, Malot scores 257. As long as Don Barrett holds it together here, this will be 2-0 for Europe. Yep, any spare or any strike, and the game is won. from Don Barrett, nine strikes, 278 to 257, and Europe lead the United States by two points to nil. Well, smiles from Wes Malott. I think he realised how well he actually played in that game, but Don Barrett was on fire, scoring 278. And Europe double their advantage in the 2016 Party Poker Weber Cup. Match three is coming up right after the break.